Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Seven Days. We are in the Prepocalypse mod, and we are on day 10. That means we are playing Urban Prepper. And today we've got some serious stuff and things we need to go do. Uh, namely, go to another town and see what's up. But first, we have got a couple of things that we need to get taken care of. That's still got 38 minutes left, so let's do the rest of this. First things first, we're going to upgrade the bow. There we go. That's doing 54. That was doing 35. And we've got a wood burning stove. Cool. Uh, bone broth Bruce stew. What? Uh, bone. Someone did say a very good thing to use would be bone broth, which does what? It can be drunk alone or used in recipes. Okay, let me make a bone broth. Uh, a bone broth. And just see what it does. I'm pretty sure there's a lot of recipes that's included in that. But let's first off find out what bone broth by itself does. Then we've got a beehive. I need to go take care of this. We are going to be completing this mission before we head out. There we go. Um, go ahead and grab any water that is sitting here because otherwise we're just missing out. And if there happen to be any plants that are already grown, we should go ahead and grab those before we go. Ah, potato. Gather a caught chicken, gather a queen bee, gather a face trap. Okay. Hang on. I might, I, I think I still have some of those left inside my stuff. I'm pretty sure it's going to tell me to put all of the stuff I just... You know what? No. I'll wait until we get back. Uh, fish trap. It's it's going to want me to put those in there and I'm not going to do it right this second. So we're going to wait until after we get back. We've got a long way to go and I want to get there and back again before things get too serious. The reason being is because we have to go to the wasteland. Should be fun, right? This ammo. We're going to take it with us. Now, this may not be our go-to weapon on a regular basis just because it's just like a bad idea to get stuck using this somewhere but uh right now i feel like we need a whole bunch of different types of weapons just in case we get into a bad situation i've had a lot of people voice concerns about doing a permadeath on this one because as in their example they walked into a building and they ran into a uh, demo with an M60 and one with a grenade launcher and it would suck to run into one of those types of situations and then the series just be over right when it got good. But the good news is is we can play it again. We, we can actually come back and play this again as a different character with the knowledge of what we learned. The reason why I've made this one a permadeath is a very selfish reason actually. The reason I did it is because I am working on a mod right now and I would like to, at some point, be able to showcase what I have already made in that mod. And one of the ways of doing that is, in between each of my other series, doing a short series of that. So... What we would probably wind up doing in those kind of situations is, okay, well, we're done with that series. We're either going to play this mod again, or we're going to pick up another one. But in between, I can show you guys what it is that I have actually gotten accomplished in the creation of my mod. Hi, Kitty. How you doing? Oh, there is a road that goes out of town. Nice. This would be a whole lot better if I had a faster vehicle, but I'm hoping we can make enough of a, you know, do this number right here and not get ran over quite so many times. Not ran over, but shot at. I have not seen this before. You know what? We're going to pull over here and take a peek at it. Oh, ammo pile. Okay, okay, okay. Oh no, it got taken out by the traps. I guess we're gonna have to go over here and get it. That would just be a waste if we don't, you know? I hear badness. He's still alive. Stop it. Medical journal and some parts. 
could be useful. Okay, not a whole heck of a lot, but still cool nonetheless. Let's go check this vehicle. There we go. There's another deer. Not really interested, dude. I need a doe. Uh, let's go ahead and check this vehicle. Who knows? We might find a whole lot of vehicle books, in which case we'll make a better vehicle whenever we get home. There's another forge ahead. Uh, 59 of 75 on that one. So, if you weren't here yesterday, what we found out was um, there's a trader over here. I think it said a Prepo Trio trader. That's that's what we're going to see. Oh, that was a shock baton guy. It's a bit of a concern. Oh lord, they're just all over the place here. I should not be here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try and take the safest path. Ugh. The safest path to get to this trader and then get home as quickly as possible. This is not an area we want to play around in. Uh, oh lord, just don't run into a rocket launcher, dude. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh no, oh no. That's a Rudolph the Red Nose <gasps> bear. Oh no, okay, okay, okay. Uh, okay. This is a trader, and it's actually in the pine forest, it's just like right next to badness. <sighs> oh, that's not good. Jen's clinic. Trader Joel, maybe? What on earth? You guys just have everything everywhere, don't you? I don't know. Maybe. I don't care what folks say about you in the wasteland. You're almost okay in my book. Cool. Oh, I can't turn it. Oh, turn that on. Well, that's not going to be good later on if I'm trying to sneak in here. Um, may I see your inventory? Do you have anything cool in your inventory? A tier 2 pistol. A tier 4 iron shovel, which may not be bad if I had some more money. I mean, I have enough, but I'm not sure that I want to do that. I'll think about it. I'll well, think about the shovel. Uh, I'm going to go check everybody else. Oh, there's just a lot of junk around here, isn't there? Traveler. Forge ahead. Okay. Hi. Uh, may I see your inventory? I wish to find. Oh, you got another armor plating mod. Oh, that would be nice. Um, you also have some armor, which I do, in fact, need the heavy armor bits. Those are 7,000 apiece. There is no way I can make that kind of money either. Okay, so what would be the best thing to do? What, what is my weakest link here with my armor? It's got the arms and a helmet. I guess the helmet would be the weakest link, yeah. Let's go for helmet. Um, that. Thank you, Survivor. Check yeah. back soon. I get new merchandise daily. Nice. That's a good upgrade. Now, I'm going to sell you this back. Of course, that doesn't give me enough to go get the shovel, but maybe I can get some cobblestone and stuff. I probably should not be wasting money anymore on cobblestone and everything, but it would be nice. Those are tier four of both of those, which I could use. 
Uh, three forge aheads. Can't really afford those. Landmines. Oh, that would be a good one. 1,500? Can I get 1,500 out of this stuff? Safe travels. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, I did not go down and check Jen's stuff, but she's usually only... If you're, uh, feeling under the weather, I've got just what the doctor ordered. She usually doesn't have very much as far as, uh, really cool things, but she does have stuff and things. I guess I will go ahead. Do you have any wood? Yeah. Thanks all right. Business. That's basically all I can get from these guys, which I'm gonna say was probably kind of good. I did get some uh, stuff upgraded. That's it. That's that's all I got out of the situation. Do I take jobs though? What the heck is that dude? Oh, I think I've seen him before. Uh oh. I probably should get out of here before they figure out how to get to me. Okay, let's go this way where it's a little bit safer. Make sure he's not carrying. <laughs> Take a peek over here. Uh, I see a bag. Should not be standing here. 61 of 75. That dude's got the angry tippity taps. Okay, so. The Trader prep Prepo Trader Tech Trio. Uh, those guys were awesome. Though it does make me wonder what's up there and whether or not I can go around this area to get back instead of trying to go through the wasteland. No offense, but someone telling me that you know, I, obviously an M60 is pretty bad. We knew that the demos had the M60s, but I did not know that they could carry rocket launchers. And that's like a one-shot kill, and they don't even have to actually hit me so much as hit the ground around me to kill me. So I am very, very worried about those guys. Let's just, like, go up here to the next town and just see whether or not there's a road back the way I came. Uh, I am after boar. Not you, lady. Repo gas. Interesting. Okay, well we found another prepo thingy. I'm not sure that I want to go in there right this second, but we have found it. Wow, I'm going way too far around where I, <laughs> I didn't need to go this way. All right, let's just go take a peek at it. Oh, jeez. Let's go take a peek at it. What is that? <laughs> Floppy Sword Gaming. Wow. Oh my gosh, that looks cool. <laughs> I'm not getting very many frames in here, but that looks cool. That looks like a huge PC. You know what, I, I gotta stick my head in here. This is a bad idea. Everybody knows custom POIs cannot be trusted. They cannot be trusted, they cannot be trusted. Oh my gosh! Big bunny! Big bunny! Uh, I'm not sure where that big bunny went and I'm not sure that I want to know because I've seen quite a few bunnies that have been inside mods that are very, very vicious. Watership Down has nothing on them. And that movie gave me nightmares. 
I was hoping to find a traitor. You know what? It would not be a bad idea to find a traitor in this town. None of those were traitors. So let's stick to the outskirts. They, they can, in fact, have traitors spawn on the inside of it. Ooh, don't do it. They can have them spawn in the middle of the city. But... In a lot of cases, you'll find them if you skirt the outside. Ah, it is a traitor's. And I'll read that. So far, nothing very useful. Ah, forge ahead and wiring 101. Ooh, Kiruki, I think we have checked all of the things. At least all of the things out here. Do you have anything in here that I can check, though? No, 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 dude. You can't whistle at me and just expect me to come over there. I'm definitely still looking through all of your stuff and things. Okay, what you got? Uh, let me sell you a couple of the stuff. Uh... Do I go ahead and sell that, or do I keep that? Hmm. You have truck accessories, a crucible, which I would like to get. Uh, forge ahead times three. You know what? I'll get that instead. I'll eventually be able to make my own forge. It's not that big a deal. Okay. You come back sometime. Yeah, 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 yeah. I really wish I could read this, but my UI is a jumbled mess again. Workstation 67 of 75. I am very, very close. What is this? So I officially have that one, right? The rock drill? Could be useful. Uh, I don't know what he's doing. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna go. I'm not gonna mess with them. I'm gonna get out of here. <laughs> Whoa! She is actually shooting at me. Nope, now is not the time. People said to harvest these guys. I got crossbow bolts. Steel crossbow bolts, but crossbow bolts. Don't do it. Anybody carrying? I don't see it. Oh, jeez. I don't see anybody carrying. over here, lady. There we go. You gonna drop me in on the ground? Is that what's going on? You gonna drop people on top of me? Everybody come down here. Not you. Oh, they're stuck. I just don't want you guys dropping on top of me because then I can't tell whether or not you're carrying anything. Get down from there! <laughs> no, <not> there. Okay. <laughs> it just fell all the way back down that hole. You good? Hmm. 
another forge ahead, another tier four shovel. Thanks. Okay, well, that was cool. Oh, the, the tier one is right here. Do I have enough time to go do that? How far away is that? 1.2. I can drop off into my vehicle. I mean, I've been kind of running around with everything inside my pockets, but I can drop into my vehicle and go ahead and take care of that tier one while we're out here. Okay, a couple of repair kits. And a tier six stone axe, though. Hmm. In the bathroom? Yep. Don't really want to wake everybody up, so... Cool. Rude. I have got another book. And another forge ahead. Handy lad. 69 of 75 on those books. I have no idea where these guys are hiding. I'm pretty sure I've done this one more than once and I just kind of gave up on it and just did this. Wake him up and bring him to me instead of getting caught off guard. There we go. You need a pipe to fix this? I don't think so. I don't know exactly what I need, but it's... Uh, okay. A forced iron. Gum. That's so concerning. Stop that, lady. Creeping me out. You're creeping all of us out. Stop your things. Okay. Ah, there you are. Come on down here, dude. Get your ankles. Get that booty. I just want to go ahead and take care of all these bad guys before nightfall hits. Come on down here. Do not hit that book pile, please. Clear area is done. Now we can go around and get all the stuff in the things because I don't have to worry about zombies running in just a little while. Um, I could really use that mod in something. I don't have room for it just yet, but I could use it. Handy lead. Quality five hammer. Another handy lead. Nail gun quality one. Wiring 101. Uh, was there anything up here? A quicker way down, probably? Alright, that does not exist. You are mistaken, that is not what you think it is. Okay, we got it done. It is now nighttime, so we're gonna quietly, on our motorized vehicle, try to get home. Hi, Frank! Uh, just in case for some reason I have to stop. Let me do that so that I can move around should I have to stop. 
All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is it for this episode. We're going to come back tomorrow and finally jump into some more missions and see if we can't get a few more levels and a whole lot more money so we can finally go around to all these traders and get all their cool stuff. Shopping <laughs> for all the cool stuff. Uh, but there are a lot more other things that I would like to get to, like getting enough stuff for the vehicles to be able to get the Prep Apocalypse vehicle. I'm not even sure what it's called, if that's the actual name for it, but I know it exists and I'm interested in trying to be able to craft it. So, ladies and gentlemen, I will see you next time. You have a wonderful day, wonderful night, and you stay shiny. Bye!